And then we are going to be speaking very shortly to a bit of a legend from the world of British boxing, a guy that gets overlooked. And then when you actually look at his record, you go, wow, wow. Wow. And before I go to him, he's uh, just with his mum at the moment, somewhere in South London. Let's speak to the Bodie man, Julius Francis, uh, Ron Bodie. That's been around a few years, hasn't he? He's been and around. He was 32 when he was 21. He, he personally bought alive the heavyweight division. When he won the championship, rather than avoiding everyone, he, he boxed won. everyone. But you know why? Because they all thought they could beat him. Let's Ex not, I, mean, I mean, he exactly. admits that. That's the truth. Exactly. They all thought he was easy. He just kept bashing them up, one after the other. I actually wanted him to go into the upsetter's uh, tune, you know, just because he was, he was the, the upsetter. upsetter he, yeah. kept, he kept beating people that people didn't think he could beat. I mean, it, it, it would be... I mean, the, the Pele right, Pele, Pele Reed, Pele rather, Reed was uh, call. I mean, Pele Reed was meant to do a job, but I mean, he was he just just kept on turning people. It was always entertaining, oh, always entertaining. And we're, we're going to get him up in a second. And one of the things I was going to ask him, you know, that famous fight with Tyson in January two thousand. Yes. And I want to I want to know. And I was talking to a young kid called Dillian White. You know, the other heavyweight. Yeah. He's been sparring with him. Yeah. I want to know where where those boots are. Because whatever Julius got for wearing those boots with the Daily Mirror on the sole. It was about right? 30,000 pounds. Yeah, yeah, but they'll be worth so much more now. Oh, like definitely. the Ali gloves from the Cooper fight, the first Cooper fight, the clay gloves from the first yeah, Cooper when, fight. When the gloves they're ripped. probably worth a million dollars, a million pounds, because Ali, a pair of gloves that Ali wore in the Patterson fight, first Patterson fight, if I'm not mistaken, they recently sold at Ali's 70th birthday celebration in Vegas for one million dollars. Well, they're not famous gloves, they're no, just no. gloves. No. The glove with a tearing... They're worth an awful lot. Anyway, let's see if we can bring Julius in now. Julius, how are you now? I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, Julius, first of all, listen, uh, th this Saturday up in Aintree, in the big cafeteria Aintree, the, the vacant British heavyweight title will take place. You, of course, had a little bit to say about the British heavyweight title for an <laughs> yeah. awful long time. Big it David Price. Yeah, big David Price against Sam Sexton. Have you seen much of either of those, especially Pricey? Um, well, I, I, I saw Price, um, David Price, when he boxed. Um, John McDermott, big John McDermott. Yeah. And I was very impressed. Yeah, me too. I was impressed with him. I, I was impressed with the way he went about his business. And I do believe, and I, I think I said this um, uh, when he turned over, I said that I believe that he was three British champion. Yeah, I, 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 so no, I, he's a good, he's a very good prospect. He's, he's tall, he's rangy. Um, and I think now, as as a professional fighter now, he's learned to um, adapt his uh, adapt and get nasty in the professional game. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And, and I don't know if you've noticed how his body's changed. I mean, you know, he's it, it, just filling out a little bit like the you know the Klitschko's did because the Klitschko's weren't all didn't always look like they do no, now. They were always kind of tall and and, and um, lanky and, and languid fighters, you know. And, um, and they and, and they filled out just like Price is filling out, and, yeah, and I quite yeah. I like that parallel. Uh, Julius, you've also been sparring, if I'm if I'm not mistaken, or taking through the motions. Young Dillian White. Now we like Dillian <laughs> on this show. How's it been? How's it been with Young Dillian? I, I tell you what, he's for me. He's actually a real pleasure to work with because um, yeah, he listens, he learns very quickly, yeah. and he doesn't mind. I, I'm the type of type of guy, especially with the younger. Um, some of the younger heavyweights, the ones that I've worked with, if I push them, and that they can wail away on me or whatever, yeah. but if I start hitting back on them and start putting a little bit of pressure on them, I, just, I want to see how they, they're going to respond. And I'm not saying that I'm out there trying to become anything that I'm um, with, with these younger fighters. I'm sure. not trying to go, you know, relive my past on anything. But I like to see and, and like to test some of them guys. And, and I think Dillian, he's one of those guys that I've worked with in, the, in recent years that I really enjoy working with. And I think he's, he's a very good prospect. He's a very, very good prospect. He's, he's a little bit like me. He came out of the kickboxing world. Of course. And uh, made the transition to boxing. But he's, again, he's a very young man in... Um, in boxing years, yeah, in boxing years, he's, he's a baby, very young. Yeah, you no, know, and he's done. He has done quite a lot in his in his in his career. You know what I mean? And, and I'm I'm really impressed with him. I mean, in addition to sparring with you, which he says has been invaluable, he obviously had sparred with Derek Delboy Chisora, and he had sparred with David Hay. And as he revealed on this show, I think last week, he's not going to spar with either of them, even though they both asked him in the build up to July 14th. He's he's decided not to spar with either of them because <laughs> he classifies them as friends. But that, that's some compliment for for a young kid who's only had five or six fights. Yeah, yeah, definitely. He's a, he's a real talent. He's yeah, he really talent. is. Now, Jim, um, 
Julius, yeah, on, sorry, no, sorry. Was, listen, no, listen, it's always a pleasure talking to you. And I so I wanted to sort of keep, you know, get you on to just talk about about the British heavyweights at the moment, especially Dillian. But something else come up now, uh, and it's not like a joke. Uh, a friend of mine, right? He owns the gloves that Ma- that Muhammad Ali wore in that famous fight with Henry Cooper when Dundee had to split them. You remember when he had to split the gloves and to right. g- to gain Cooper, so, sorry, yeah. to gain Ali yeah. some time. And these gloves, are, you know, they're, they're in folklore. And my friend bought them a good few years ago. Anyway, he calculates that they're worth about a million dollars because of another yeah. pair of gloves from just a normal fight, Ali gloves, sold for a million dollars. So here's a famous, he thinks they'll be worth more. So that got me thinking, and I did it on my show on Box Nation about, um, about uh, two weeks ago. What in boxing would be worth more. So someone's gown, someone's this, and everyone came up. You know, you know what? I know why you're laughing. Everyone came up with your boots from the from the from the Tyson fight. Where are they? Because I tell you what, mate, they're worth a fortune. Well, I, I don't know. You know what happened? As far as I'm as far as I'm aware, right? Yeah. As far as I'm aware, those boots were auctioned not long after after the fight. After the Tyson oh, fight. Shoot. Um, I haven't got a clue. I haven't got a clue where they are. Two, I'll, I'll... Um, I tell you, the man to speak to about that would be Frank Maloney. Well, I'll tell you what. Some... He, might have, he might have him up in his loft or buried away somewhere. Well, um... Well, I tell you what, if he's got him up in his loft, no wonder he's going to retire when, when David Price retires. Because uh, people, I, I got a quote from a sports auctioneer. He thinks they could be worth about 350 grand. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, and if someone would split that with me then. No, I see the only thing the only thing I have from my ty- from the Tyson fight is my the gloves I wore. Oh, brilliant! From from the Tyson fight, and um, you know that that's kind of my momentum. Uh, my, yeah, momentum. My, my 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 bit of memorabilia from. Oh. From that, and obviously, I have the memories and everything like that. Cool, I listen, remember, uh, Julius. We were back just before I let you go. Listen, thanks for your time today, mate. It's always a pleasure no talking to you. Uh, we were no back problem. at the Royal Albert Hall the other day, uh, for, for the first time uh, for all those years. Obviously, the last time we were there, you were, you were, if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> retaining your British title against Danny Williams. Yes, yes, yes. I was, um, and that was that box at the Albert Hall, uh, that night there against Danny Williams was for me to win the British title outright. And That's I was, right. Um, I was fortunate enough to. Um, it was a great fight. With it was a great fight, yeah. To uh, win it outright, and it was uh, for me a fantastic occasion. I mean, I I, um, I always dreamt maybe about fighting at places like that, and it was a fantastic occasion. You know. Uh, listen, before I let you go, Julius, what you, what's Julius Francis up to now, day to day, when he's not being in, when he's not in the ring bashing up Dillian White? <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what? I, I keep myself. I try and keep myself busy. Um, doing a bit of sparring, obviously doing a bit of um, teaching and training as well. Yeah. Um, you know, just I, I, I keep my eye on the game and just, you know, just try and stay happy. That's what I'm trying to do. Well, listen, Julius, it's always an absolute pleasure talking to you. No it's problem. an absolute pleasure talking to you. I'm just going to have to tell my friend Ollie, Ollie, my producer, just turn that telly off because just turn the telly off. Just turn it off. We've got a telly on in the background. There All we right. go. Listen, Julius, it's an absolute pleasure talking to you. No problem, Steve. We'll see you soon. You Julia- Thank you. Julius Francis there, one of the best heavyweights we've had over the last 25 years, and I always include him in any of my list. Now, there's a.